to act out things. You know they got it when they can when they can say it back to you. And so play was just a wonderful way for them to show to show what they know. Um, one, a couple of notes about our play. We have narrators of Prophet Noah. We didn't want to have someone be Prophet Noah. We have uh, narrators of what he said. Okay, so um, so we look at we have narrators. Um, so let us let us get started. I'm going to I'm going to um, to start it off. Allah bless the children of Adam. Alayhi but there were many of them. Men and women, boys and girls that spread throughout the land on earth. The children of Adam lived in towns and built many houses. They cultivated the land and grew their own food. All of them followed the religion of their father Adam. Alehi? They worshiped Allah and did not associate with any partners with him. They were all one community. Their father was Adam, alayhi, and their Lord was Allah. But how could Shaitan be satisfied with that? Everyone worshiping Allah? Remember that Shaitan refused to obey Allah's command to bow to Adam, alayhi, out of respect and thus became Shaitan the rejected. He was no longer allowed to be in the company of those nearest to Allah. Ever since, he has vowed to lead the children of Adam astray so that they too would enter the fire. Was a righteous man. He was generous, intelligent, and patient. 
He was truthful and honest and gave good advice. He would stand among his people and tell them, I am to you a trustworthy messenger. Day and night, Noah lay Salam tried very hard to get his people to believe in Allah and leave the idols. He had the most resistance from the rich and arrogant. We are nobles, and the believers of Noah are poor and lowly. Tell those poor to leave them and go follow your message. He talked about Allah publicly and tried to give the message privately to some close friends. May Allah reward Prophet Noah Laysalam because after all that, only a few listened. Most of the people laughed and teased. Some of them said, When did he become a, since when did he become a prophet? Yesterday he was a man amongst us, and today he says he's a messenger of God to you all. When we were little, he used to play with us, and we would sit together every day. <coughs> we got good when the prophet had come to him at night or during the day. He's on a, he's only a man like us. Isn't there anyone else? Our before father worship idol, so what is it? He worship them. No. <coughs> Noah <coughs> lay Salam saw that the forefathers were wrong to worship idols and knew that Adam, the lay Salam, the father of all human beings, never worshipped an idol. He only worshipped the law. Noah lay Salam was insulted, disgraced, humiliated, and made fun of, but continued teaching his people about the one true God, Allah. He told them to look around at all they enjoyed, the warm sun, the bright moon, the blue sky, their food and drink, each a blessing that only Allah gave them. His people denied Allah. Who sends the wind, rain to water your crops? His people denied Allah. Who has made the earth spacious for you? His people denied Allah. Noah alayhi salam's people did not use their intellect and rejected their creator. The people got tired of listening to him and began putting their fingers in their ears so they couldn't hear. Allah answered 
The people of Noah, the people uh, who made fun of Noah Salaam started climbing the mountains and they all drowned. There was no protection for them that day. Noah Salaam saw his son in the waves and said, Dear son, ride with us and don't be one of the disbelievers. His son replied, No Hanes Salam warned. There is no protection today from Allah's command except whom he wills. At that moment, an enormous wave came, and his son was drowned. I'll call it second grade in kindergarten. Noah was saddened from the loss of his son and wanted to ask the loss to save him from the punishment on the day of judgment. However, the family Allah chose to save is not based on lineage, but rather on good deeds. Allah answered, Oh Noah, he is not from your family, for his deeds are not righteous ones. Noah listened to Allah's warning and quickly asked forgiveness. My Lord, I seek protection with you from asking about things which I have no knowledge. If you don't forgive me and have mercy on me, I will be of the losers. At the time when Allah and his perfect knowledge and wisdom decide for the water to stop, it stopped. The water stopped pouring down from the skies and overflowing from the rivers. It dried up in obedience to Allah's command.
Okay, give us just a few more minutes uh, to get this uh, next step set up. Islamic school in uh, in College Park, Maryland, uh, Al Huda School, and uh, one of the teachers she needed some supplies for her classroom, and brother brother Rashid um, he he suggested that he couldn't uh, give money uh, 
uh, in that, but he could help raise money. And what he did was, he started uh, a journey, a 230 miles journey, a 230 miles journey from uh, College Park, Maryland to, um, uh, to uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania on a bicycle, a bikeathon. And they started uh, with the goal of raising $20,000, uh, but they, um, they raised more than that by the time uh, the, the race ended. So, so that was a very innovative idea uh, that he came up with. Of course, it had, it had a lot of help for, from a lot of people, and it became a social media sensation because uh, they were updating and posting feeds on, um, uh, uh, on social media, on Facebook, on uh, Twitter, and, and other uh, avenues. Uh, so without, uh, without further ado, let me, let me first invite uh, the student who who invited, who started this invitation, uh, Naveed. Naveed Karim. Um, and let me invite Brother Abdul Rashid. trying to work out his, uh, his, his issues with the, with the computer here. So these are all the growing pains that any Muslim school has to go through. It's the same thing as raising your children at home. Putting the school together is no different and probably a little bit easier. So when we iron out this, we'll have this. But So the brother here, Navi, who I just met for the first time, I think he's still trying to figure me out. Yeah. So he asked his mom to, uh, to get us together. And inshallah, uh, we're here because he saw this video. Now the video, I, inshallah, I pray you get to see it. Um, it's a bigger deal than we thought it would be. The bike ride idea um, was, was just a little thing. And it turned into something a lot bigger than we had planned. So, and it was for brothers like Naveed and sisters, sisters like the ones who just put on this play for us and all of you who are here today. Was there anything that you wanted to, to ask about the bike ride, Navi? Yeah. I used to just have have a dream when I was sleeping last night. I used to have a dream about me that one day I used to have my name, like Brother Abdul Rashid. And I used to ride and I used to ride the same bicycle like Brother Abdul Rashid. Mashallah. Mashallah. Okay, so I can't really top that, so I'm not going to try. But what I will do is, uh, if, and I need, I need some help. I need my daughter, Sabria. She's, uh, she's in uh, Alhuda school. I need her help. Hold on one second. This is this is the uh, this is the on behalf of all the Alhuda school children. The school's a lot bigger, but don't let that fool you. There's about 500 or so people at Alhuda school in College Park, and another 80 or almost 100 in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. But just because your school is smart smaller doesn't doesn't make the difference. It's it's heart that a lot counts, and it's it's quality, not just quantity. So we have a lot of people, but you have a lot of earnest desire. Come on, man, who makes an ark out of cardboard? You all rocked it, and, and that's that's how it's supposed to happen. You don't you don't need fancy stuff to build a school. But for Navid, Navid, I need your help too. Come. Can you hold this? Okay. So for Navid, what we wanted to do. Sabria, if you can. Let's see if Navi can peek down in there. 
Can you pull the top? The children in our Huda school want you to remember more than the video, and, and there's something very important here. A lot of children earned a lot of respect, and the schools and the parents and the teachers, they earn... The schools and the parents and the teachers earn our respect, but out of all the people as far away as Kenya and Saudi Arabia and all the places that saw these videos and watched and put comments on YouTube and things, there's one person who said, hey, I'm trying to get with that, and that was Naveed. So for Naveed, what we wanted to be able to do was make a way for him to remember the bike ride and what he and what he did. So we brought Naveed the bicycle. <laughs> Now, on behalf of all of our students to all of yours, this is a way, inshallah, for you to remember this small thing and maybe inspire something better because, frankly, you can outdo us. Uh, with this school and the growth that you put forward, you'll, you'll do better than what we did over just a couple days. So, Navi, what do you think? Do you think, do you think that you'll have a, a use for a bicycle? Maybe it's not as good as your tricycle, right? <laughs> what do you think? So this one is for you. What do you think about that? Ah, can you say mashallah? Ah, can you say mashallah? Good job. Alhamdulillah. What do you think about the video? Just uh, Alhamdulillah. Um, is it not working? Okay, IT issues. All right, so look, the theme of today, uh, and this is all, I'm pulling it from my pocket now. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. You're supposed to watch this video that rouses the emotions and uh, has you, has you uh, in tears and, and, and inspires you to, you know, this journey that we took. But it's not all that. It's really very, very simple. The topic that you'll hear people talking about later on, and for you young people, you're going to hear big words like cultivating leadership and inspiring the next generation. All you need to know right now is that all of you here, the youngest people, are already leaders. And leadership is only a reflection of what's put in front of it. So you'll lead the way we're leading you now, the way your parents are teaching you, the way you learn from the school. All of you, I'm sure, can somebody, anybody in the first two roads, can you tell me how to spell a word? What word can you tell me how to spell? Spell a word. L-L. She taught me a word. Can somebody show me where is the exit sign? Where is the way to get out if there's a fire? Anybody? Right there? Okay, so he showed me where to go. She taught me how to spell something. Right? Can show somebody, any of you that can explain one of these things has already shown the skills that it takes to be a leader. Right? It's up to us to put good things in front of you for you to learn and mirror back. That's really what it's all about. There's not a lot of talk. People have a tendency to run leadership into the ground. You don't need, with all due respect, I'm sorry, to the PhDs in the room. <laughs> you don't need 14 years of education to understand that these children want to be led and they want to grow up in a good example. And it's up to us to be able to provide that. And if we don't, then their leadership in the future reflects what we gave them today. MashaAllah, come on in. Navi, if you were if you were to do something, what what would you want to be able to show your classmates and your school? What do you what do you want Tarbia School to grow up to be? Okay, so good. So we start small. <laughs> we start small. But really, what the bike ride was for us was the fact that I was broke. Uh, and that's as plain as it gets. Paying for school is not easy. Making a curriculum and providing the supplies for all the school and all the grades yeah, is, is not easy. So like a lot of parents, we wanted to come up with ideas. And everybody in the room has an idea. It's just a, it's just a matter of getting out of your house and going to do it. <laughs> She's excited. So when you have an idea, it's, it's more a matter of, oh, 
you know, what, what, what can I bring to the table? What, what kind of things do I like to do that I give my own inspiration to? What would I do even if I wasn't being told to? And that's where the bike ride idea came, came from. My wife has the car. I don't have a car. So I ride the bike to work. That's where the idea comes from. And the children were inspired by it. And they thought it was a good idea. And it turned out to be a lot bigger than we thought. Um, my daughter's teachers were only $700 worth of supplies. We ended up raising $22,000 with the bike going from Tallinn Park to Harrisburg and back. We had no idea that it would work. I'm not an athlete, so we didn't make it and didn't know if it was whaling or not, you know. So uh, the bike ride turned out to be uh, a very big deal for all of us. It was slow, and the biggest, most successful part of Suffer Wins the Race was the fact that other people like you all have gotten the idea. You've gotten the idea that you could do something yourself. You could do uh, something bigger. You could take it further than we did. And inshallah, people like Navi actually took that, that, uh, that instance to be able to say, hey, you know, come here and let me shake your hand and 